This is the K-Bug 4000. The 4000 is a fillet welder that runs on the vertical wall while doing a downhand fillet weld. It's very advantageous when the floor space is very limited. You can get in within just a few inches of the floor to the wall. The K-Bug 4000 has a more powerful magnet because it is made to run on the vertical member and produces stitch or continuous welds. The controls of the K-Bug 4000 are very simple to set and operate. You have a cycle start button, a cycle stop button. A weld actuation switch enables the weld and it will be controlled by the program. A preset for the direction of the, of the tractor travel. Speed adjustment knob which also doubles as a programming knob. We'll run through the program in just a minute. Digital readout will display the travel speed during a continuous weld or it will count down the distance during stitch welding. Before using the K-Bug 4000 there are some background parameters to be set. These can be set by holding the start button while applying power to the machine. You'll notice the digital readout is flashing and has a U symbol. This allows you to set the time for the puddle build at the beginning of the weld. The value must be more than zero. There has to be some value in there. We'll put it at about a half of a second. This will allow the weld puddle to gel before the travel begins. By pressing the start button a second time, we now have an end showing. And this is a time and a value for the crater fill at the end of the weld. This can be set down to one-tenth of a second. Pressing the start button a third time now gives you a timer for a pause between the end of the weld and when it will fire a second time to fill that crater. And again, can be adjusted down to a tenth of a second. Once those three background parameters are done, simply hit the stop cycle button and you're back to the main screen. From here, we can now program to do stitch or continuous welding. By holding the speed control knob down for three seconds, all three LEDs will flash. With one LED lit, I now know I'm in the stitch mode, and I can go ahead and set my stitch pattern. The first one we'll set is the length of the weld. We'll set it for 1.5 inches. It's programmable down to a tenth of an inch, or in centimeters, if you happen to be using a 240 volt bottle. By pressing the speed control knob down again, the B LED is now lit, and this is for setting the distance of skip between the welds. We'll set that down to two inches. Again, by the tenth of an inch or by centimeters. Pressing the speed control knob a third time lights up the C LED, and this is the total length of the workpiece in inches or centimeters. We can put in so that if the operator happens to get distracted or for whatever reason, if it's a repeat operation, they can program in the total length of the weld, the machine will automatically stop itself. For a continuous weld, simply hold the speed control knob again for three seconds, all three LEDs will flash, and now none of the LEDs are lit. Now I know I'm in a continuous mode and the speed adjustment knob sets your travel speed only. This is very handy if you have a multiple of applications where you need to switch back and forth from stitch to continuous, it's done within a three second push. We'll now look at the setup and the features of the machine and we'll do a live weld as well. To set up the K-Bug for the welding, one of the first things you want to look at is the guide arms. These are adjustable in length and you want to set it so that your trailing arm is slightly longer than your leading arm. This creates a tilt in the machine so the machine is always driving towards the bottom plate and that keeps it in the joint. If you notice with this arm a little shorter you'll see the machine is actually sitting at a slight angle so it's always driving down, prevents it from walking away from the corner. Once that's set we can now go ahead and set our torch in place and make our electrical connections. Straight barrel gun is recommended, it's just a simpler gun to use. We offer a variety of guns but you can use just about any gun in this application. Once the gun is secured in position in the gun clamp, you can then use the vertical and horizontal racking adjustments to set the gun exactly in the corner. And these adjustments can be made on the fly as well.
We'll now make our electrical connections. We have a two-wire weld contact switch that will control the feeder on and off through the circuit, and a three-wire power cable to power the unit up. At this point, we can double check our parameters, double check our gun position, power up our welding equipment, and we're ready to make a live weld. For more information on the KBUG 4000 and other great Bugo products, visit our website at bugo.com or contact your local welding distributor.